clip is supposed to be part of a collaboration I'm doing with Zack Zanga here on YouTube. So the thing that we decided for this collaboration was Sirens and Mermaid. This look is not only part of a collaboration with Zack, but it's also my entry for a contest on Instagram hosted by Love Cat and if you guessed it, the theme was Sirens, Mermaids, Merman. He actually did his look before mine and I will pop a picture right on the screen. His work is phenomenal. You guys should really go check him out. All his information will be down below as well as his tutorial. So there really isn't a lot to say about this look except if you want to see how I did it then all you gotta do is just keep on watching. Okay, so first I am prepping my hair and hairspraying the crap out of it because I'm going to apply a bald cap and this is from Cinema Secrets. I found it at Party City. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide on the bald cap and then with an eyeliner pencil I'm just going to sketch out where I want to cut some of the excess bald cap and then take some spirit gum. You know if I can get it open somehow. Really struggling here. And then start sticking the ball cap down. What you want to do is that you want to apply the spare gum where you're going to lay down the edges. And then you want to wait for it to get tacky for at least a minute or just tap it with your finger until it gets really sticky. And then carefully lay down the edge of the bald cap until it's flat on your skin. Because the edges weren't lying down as flat as possible, I'm going to take a couple of coats of liquid latex and I'm going to start applying these to the edges of the bald cap to make sure that they're as smooth as possible. And I did about three to four layers until they were as flat as I wanted them to be. And then I'm going to take some caster sealer because as I keep repeating in most of my videos, if you do not apply caster sealer or any type of cosmetic sealer on top of latex, regular makeup will not adhere well to the latex. Then I'm going to take Ben Nye's Professional Clown White Cream Makeup and I'm going to start dotting this on the T-zone of my face. So my forehead, cheekbones, tip of the nose, lips and chin. And with my damp beauty blender sponge, I'm just going to buff it all out. And then I'm going to take some setting powder and set everything to make sure it doesn't crease or move anywhere. Next, I'm going to take Paradise Paint in yellow and I'm going to start filling in all the areas I did not fill in with white, so the bald cap and basically what would be the contour areas of my face. And I am doing a couple of coats of the yellow and in between each coat I am applying hairspray because at least in the bald cap the paint wasn't adhering well, so applying a couple of coats of hairspray did help it apply as opaque as possible. Then with the white, I'm extending it further up my cheekbones and my temples. Next, I'm going to start contouring my face, and for that, I used Mayron Paradise Paint in teal, and I just watered it down until it was basically a liquid, and I poured it into my airbrush and just started contouring my cheekbones, temples, top of the head, and jawline in teal, and it was really, really beautiful. I just love the contrast between the yellow and the blue, and then I also contoured the sockets of my eyes. And then I'm going to take this blue eyeshadow from the NYX's Avon Pop Palette, and I'm going to apply this on the inner corner of my eyes, and then buff the eyeshadow out as well as use the eyeshadow to further darken up the contours of my face. So such as the cheekbones, I'm using this to further define and further darken up the contours. Now for the fun part, I'm going to start stenciling on some scales on my face. So what I did was that I did this stencil out of foam paper and I took some green body paint and I'm going to start airbrushing this on the white of my face and I'm actually keeping most of these scales very muted. I'm going to take blue body paint and I'm going to mix it with the green body paint that I already had on my airbrush and I'm going to start airbrushing these dark blue scales all over the yellow. Now these ones do have kind of a pattern. They actually go from smallest to greatest as they get further away from my face. So the ones that are closer to my face are smaller and the scales that spread away from my face are actually bigger. Also airbrushing that dark blue on the inner corner of the eye, the lips and contouring my nose as well. Then taking that blue eyeshadow again and darkening up the contours a little bit more. So for this look, I actually made some props and some fins out of tissue in latex to add more to this fishy merman realness. And basically how I did it was that I took a pencil and I started sketching out what a fin would look like, of course looking at a reference picture. Then I'm taking liquid latex and a disposable sponge and I'm adding about 
three to four layers of latex keeping the top half very thin and then I'm gonna take these pieces of tissue paper or paper towel and I'm going to roll them into little joints and then I'm going to stick them down into the latex and these are going to be the spikes and then I'm taking liquid latex on my fingers and I'm basically sculpting each spike and molding it into the right shape and I did the exact same steps for every single one of the spikes so lay down some latex, roll down the little joint of paper towel, take some latex in your fingers, mold it into the right shape, and then after all that was done, I just took some more latex and applied it all over the prosthetic to make sure that everything is adhered well. After all that, I just took an F ton of baby powder and I just powdered the whole prosthetic and then very carefully, or else the latex will stick to itself, I started peeling the prosthetic away. To paint the fins, I actually used this beautiful metallic blue body paint by Mayron and I used this to color each of the webs, but of course because this is latex and because I am using water activated face paints, it did not adhere to the latex well, so what I did was that I took hairspray and I added layers of hairspray in between so that once I added the layers of body paint, they wouldn't move or smear and they would stay in place. Then I'm taking some yellow body paint and painting the spikes and then I'm taking some black eyeshadow and adding this in between each of the spikes to add more dimension. To adhere the dorsal fin to my head, I just took some spear gum and I did a line going up and down the center of my head and then I waited for it to get tacky a little bit and then I placed the fin right on top. Now I did have to use a piece of tissue paper to anchor the fin down correctly and balance it out and then I took some latex and I applied this on the edges of the fin to further adhere it down and make sure that it doesn't wiggle and it doesn't come off and the front part of the fin was lifting up so I actually had to take some latex and cotton balls to form like a little platform so that I would sit on top of my head correctly. Then I'm taking liquid latex and I'm using this to adhere the fake ears that I did using the exact same techniques I used for the other fins and not to hide the edges I actually made these little scales using a technique I learned from Glam and Gore here on YouTube. I will have the link down below and I started placing these scales randomly throughout my face. Also, this is a perfect way to hide all the edges and imperfections of the look. I went ahead and painted the scales using a metallic blue color and then used the yellow body paint to paint the latex once it was already dry. Then I used whatever was left on the airbrush to further darken up the eyes a little bit more and darken up the contours of my nose as well as my lips. And then I used the yellow body paint to paint the spikes on my ears because I had not done that prior to making these ears. And then I just used the yellow body paint and just did these little dots randomly throughout the makeup to add a little bit more interest and to add more detail. Now for the body what I did was that I first just painted down white body paint all over the center and then with my beauty blender sponge I just buffed the body paint out and then used an airbrush to further smooth down the white body paint a little bit more and then used yellow body paint for the outer portions and of course I blended it with the white. Then with the teal body paint I just started giving myself some very muscular and manly features so watch me turn myself into scrawny and skinny ass me into someone very muscular in other words someone that's not me so i just used the teal body paint to contour some abs a really intense chest collarbone muscles and i used some dark blue body paint to darken up the contours and use the blue eyeshadow to further darken up the contours a little bit more and then use the exact same techniques for the scales on my face on my chest <laughs> And just because I felt like my face wasn't detailed enough, I took white body paint on this fine tip brush and I started randomly placing some dots all over where I did all the scales as well as the lips and also just reaching towards my eye connecting with the inner corner all the way from my temples to the eye sockets and then I took this white shimmery eyeshadow from the Nexus Avon Pop Palette and I used that to highlight my face and to give me a very glowy like I just came out of the water wet look. 
applied my contact lenses and then I took the blue eyeshadow and added this to the lower lid and then I used the NYX's Jumbo Eyeliner Pencil in Milk to open up my eyes and give them a more fishy and rounded effect. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, the links will be down below as well as the list of products I use in this video. Also, don't forget to check out Zach's channel. He is truly, truly amazing and he's an amazing friend as well, so please go check him out. And now, I really hope to see you next time and bye!